Hey Deckers, I've been meaning to get a Final Fantasy XIV video out for some time, so I'm going to give it to you in two parts to make it up to you, starting with the gameplay and best settings. Now this is the same across the Steam Direct version, as well as the Final Fantasy Launcher version. I'll have a guide for the Launcher version coming up next week, so do keep your eye out for that if that's what you are on the lookout for. Gameplay wise, this does run absolutely fantastically. It does need a few tweaks to get things running just a little bit smoother. And you will see for the most part, it does stick around the 20 to 25 watt mark on battery and will bounce between 40 and 60. In the early stages, it doesn't go under 60 frames per second with these settings at all. So don't be completely deceived because when you get to some of the later areas, as you just saw, the frames do dip a bit. But once you're away from some of the larger kind of town areas, then the frames do stick back up to the 60, even with the nighttime gameplay and a bit further on. So you can see here I was running the launcher version for these tests and you will need to run this with Proton Experimental. Fiddling through the launcher is a bit of a pain, especially if you have got the extra key set up for authentication. Settings wise, what I did find best for this overall was to set the graphic settings to high laptop and with a very small tweak in here of turning off the motion blur settings. So standard laptop did not look very nice at all, although it did give you slightly better frames per second. High laptop is definitely the best here. You don't need the HD UI, but for everything else, you can pretty much leave on standard. Apart from, as I said, just turn off things like the blur, the graphics in motion. So get rid of that motion blur. And if you don't like the darkening around the edges of the screen, you can remove that as well. Controller wise though, you do need to come into the control configuration from the main menu, which is the controller icon and enable gamepad. This will default to Xbox 360 and you need to make sure that it's on the ABXY button mapping or if you are using a different controller, you can change those button layouts. The other thing that you need to do is come into the character configuration, which is the second from last icon, and enable the cross hotbar. This gives you the controller style layout that you can see with all of the buttons. Basically, when I hold the left trigger or right trigger, they bring up all of these extra icons. Now change the set using the left button and everything is now mapped with the left trigger and right trigger d-pad and menu item buttons as you can see on the configurations as they highlight when I hold down the trigger. This does take a bit of getting used to but it does make it 100% playable on the deck without any custom configurations. It does also take a bit of getting used to pressing the menu buttons to toggle between the kind of corners to get into maps and to other menu items. The text can be a little bit small in some of the menus but it is definitely more than playable. As I said, it does bounce between 20 and 25 watts on battery with the high laptop settings. If you don't mind a bit more blurriness and degraded graphics, you can get that below 20 watts using the standard laptop mode, but it really doesn't save you that much considering how much worse it looks. There you have it, Final Fantasy XIV working fantastically on the Steam Deck with the launcher and also you'll get the same performance out of the Steam version. We'll have the installation video for you on the channel very soon and we'll link it in this video if you come to this a little bit later or you come back to it as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.